sorting the cloud. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant. I am host of Your Future Is Now on the Toganet radio station. The purpose of this webinar is to share with you some of the things that I've learned over many, many years of broadcast. How to be a guest on a radio show or a podcast. A lot of people want to be on a radio show or podcast. But sadly, a lot of people, most of them, really don't know what it takes. Is it okay if I share a little bit about myself and some things that I've done to give you a background of who I am and why should you even listen to me? I'm a retired master sergeant, served 31 years United States Army. I'm a former certified instructor with the United States Army. I was an instructor for 12 years. I've been on the podium public speaking since 2002. I'm a professionally trained public speaker. And for many years, I was a radio show co-host. Our, our radio show was very successful. We had up to 2 million downloads a month. And one of the reasons why was because we had a top 10 hit song that we played on our radio show that was downloaded all over the world. And another reason, this was before the average entrepreneur found out about Facebook ads and Google ads and things of that nature. So we had a lot going for us. Also too, Dandy Don McGrath, my partner and business, my business partner and co-founder of speakerspathway.com. Dandy Don and I, we also have a radio show. Your future is now, as I mentioned. We know what it takes. We know what it costs. For you to understand what a host, whether a radio show host or whether it's a podcast host, what they're looking for, I want you to close your eyes right now. I want to take you on a trip. You are now the host of your own show. Imagine that. How does that make you feel? You know that excuse me, you know that you've already invested a lot of time, a lot of sweat equity in this venture of being a host of your own show. Whether you're live on the radio like we are, or if you're just doing live podcast or recorded podcast, the principles are the same. You've worked hard to, to build a following. In the world of radio, it's a business. Is it okay if I share a nicety to know with you? A lot of people are cutting the plug, the wire, the cable, to TV. They don't want to be on the regular TV. They're cutting the cable. Advertisers, big companies are looking for little folks like me and you to be able to get their products out to customers. And they know that little people like me and you who have worked very, very hard as a host of our own show, we've built the following, they're willing to invest in you at a grassroots level because it's more like a spider web that they want to get going. The more outlets they have, it'll cost them less money, but it's a lot more safer, but there's a price to pay for that. You've got to have a squeaky clean image. You can't pretend to be one way on your show and then be on Facebook, your personal page and be radical because no company is going to hire a problem. Make sense. Now you're the host of your show. You select your guest and you want your guest to fit your persona, your theme of your show, because that's what you're going to sell the advertisers. That's what's going on. That's valuable. I won't get into the nuts and bolts of how, how, how much money that is, but I'll say this much. You can make a good living if you play your cards right and have your own show. It's going to take some time. 
but you know what? It's worth it. So therefore, there you are. You started from ground zero. You got on the mic for the first time. You might have been a little nervous or something like that, and that's quite all right. I teach a free course in overcoming the fear of public speaking. So if you'd like to have that free course, just go to speakerspathway.com and just, just contact us. Say, hey, tell Jim to send me the free course, Overcoming the Fear of Public Speaking, because I was that, petrified for decades. Now, you started your show. You've built it up. You've worked hard. You want to make sure, if you're like me, that everything is flowing beautifully. And then a person like that you don't know, or maybe you do know them, they say, hey, can I be on your show? What would go through your mind? You're going to look at that person, and you're going to determine whether or not that person is going to be a blessing to your audience. Don and I, we get a lot of requests to be on our show. It's a live radio broadcast every Friday on the Toganet radio system at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time. But we just can't let anybody come on, can we? Would you let anybody come on that would be radical on your show and destroy your credibility? It would cost you a lot of money if you did. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Also, too, let's say that you know me. You know that I'm a nice guy. You know I can deliver a great message, be a blessing to your audience, because that's what you want in a, in a guest. You want your guest to make you look good to your audience. That's the prime objective. What would you want from me? You might say, hey, Jim, send me the theme of your show. Give me a, you know, a couple of paragraphs of what you're going to be talking about. Would you give me five or six um, bullet comments in the event if we have a technical issue, since it's a live show, I can continue to talk about you? While we get the, while the producer in the background gets all the things worked out and the audience will never knew we had a problem, we're that good. Also, give me five, six, or seven questions to help me to ask questions so that the flow of information of your show will be nice and smooth. In other words, we're not going to bop, pop around like hot popcorn on a stove, right? You want to be able to have an introduction, a body, a close. And we're going to do this in a continuous flow. You'd be surprised how many times I ask for those simple things. And it's like begging people to give me information. It's because they're, they do not understand the value that I've explained to you because a radio show, once you build up a good following, these big companies, you're talking about three, <laughs> you're talking about six digits. That's income. That's your business. So you better take it serious. So if I just kind of like, hey, I want to be on your show and I'm slow about getting information to you, it's going to aggravate you, right? Absolutely. So therefore, when you want to be a guest on a show, put yourself in the hostess shoes. That will make you so attractive to them. Now, is it okay if I share a few things with you? Let me share my screen here. Your future is now. Recognize that guy there? We are on the Toganet radio st station. You can listen to our podcast on iTunes. That's a link there to it. This is about us. There's my buddy, Dandy Don McGrath. That's me. How to connect with us and all that. We are sponsored by speakerspathway.com. This is some of our guests. Uh, guests we had on last week was Sean Jones of Network Together and Network I Network Expo. This is about her, the information. Notice how you click on those links there and we'll take you right to that. That's important. And we're sponsored by Speakers Pathway. This is her husband, Robert. We had him on the, the show before. And then me and Don, we put on the two men's dream. 
we had a show there. We want to share our story with people. If you go to speakerspathway.com, up in the upper right hand, right hand corner, you'll see two men stream. You can click on that. You'll hear me and Don talk about how we created and why we created the Speakers Pathway Coalition. And of course, we had Dustin Matthews of WellFit and just so on and so forth. Now, the reason that's important, when people come to download your podcast, because this is a podcast we can download. You see up here on the right here, where you can download these podcasts here. On our particular, particular show, you just go to toganet.com up here at the top, shows your future is now. And right over here is all of our podcasts. You can download them all. We are also on iTunes. So people can come there. They can play and listen to the show. There's the two men's dream I was telling you about. Dr. Charles Weber, we had him on. He has a, he's a specialist in PTSD, working with the military personnel. And so you can see the flow of information there. We're providing value to the audience. That's what you've got to do. Whether you're a guest or whether you're a host of a show, you can't be all over the spectrum. So, okay, how do I become a host? This is, you could go to Toganet and read up on the, the various hosts there on the shows and see where you're a good fit. You want to be able to share your information. Like, I like to be on your show. This is the theme of my show. This is the content of what I'm going to be covering and yada, da, da, da. And make sure this is, this is true on both sides of the street, whether you're a host or a guest, you make sure that you're on target and don't get on a soapbox. As you can see here with our shows that me and Dandy Don have done, we're consistent. We're providing value in business about how to create the business laptop lifestyle. Also too, you might wonder why Dr. Charles Weber is there with the military. I'm a retired master sergeant, Dandy Don. His father was a prisoner of war. We got some skin in the game and we're very, very partial to our military and the spouses because we want to help them create the laptop lifestyle career. Mark Green, he had a, a program, Get Resilient Summit to help military. Dr. Sony Jackson, she helps people promote their business. So you can see just by these examples, we're focused on the same theme basically. We're not out there over here talking about politics one day and car racing the next or anything like that. That's very, very important. So this is one place that you can go. This is called the radio guest list.com. You can see the website right there. There are several places you can go. I'm just going to use this one here as an example. Now you can go down through here. You can see we're up here at the top, get free interview, Offer it through emails. You can sign up for free. There's no cost for this. You can see radio interview guest request. Some of the guests or some of the radio hosts will actually, and podcast hosts will actually request for guests. You might say, do, you, do I use this? No, I don't. And the reason why I don't is because with Network Together, we're working together with those folks. And Don and I, we know a whole slew of people. And that's important because we'd rather have someone on our show that we know something about rather than a stranger. Therefore, if you want to be on a guest on a podcast or a radio show, the more information that they see about you, the better your chances are of getting on their show. And here again, listen up. If, if you're, let's say that you're going to provide some information on health, for example, and you go to a show that specializes in providing information on health and the guest or the host of that show goes to your Facebook page and they see you see you writing political slants, whether you're conservative, liberal, doesn't matter. You're radical. You're this and that. Do you think that they want you on the show? They really can't take that chance. Can they? Because your name is very, very important. You've got to make sure that everyone associated with your name, can make you look good. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Because what our parents teach us, you're known by the company you keep. Okay. Now getting back to this here, you can find guests to interview. If you're a show host, the best PR firms and publics, 
how to get publicly a publicity media training, see featured guest experts. You can get featured there. There's just a whole slew of information there. Get more interviews, everything. Now, when you sign up for this, if you choose to sign up, they will send you an email. I did this several months ago, so I look for it, but I can tell you that they made it very clear to me that if I submit my paperwork and I am selected to be a guest on a show and then I come on that show and I veer from my topic and I want to get them on this personal soapbox, I will be a one and done with these people. Does that make sense? That's why it's critical for you to, you know, share as much information you can so that the host, again, put yourself in the host's shoes. You're the host. And if I just say, I want to be on your show, you want to see who I am, what I'm going to be talking about. You're going to take a look at my Facebook page. You want to make sure that I'm going to make your audience look good. Because that's the purpose of a guest. If I'm a guest on your show, I owe it to you to make your audience look good to you. Right? Or make you look good to your audience. Excuse me there. But my point being, if I embarrass you, you're going to be furious with me. And that's going to cost you with your audience. How many times have someone come on as a guest on a show and they say something very offensive to the audience that the, that the host has built a strong following with? And they said, hey, I'm going to unsubscribe because you disappointed your audience. That's how critical this is. When I say it's big money, yes, it is. It's a lot of money. You can get a huge following here. Advertisers will pay to have your, to be able to get their good name to your audience. So therefore, that's why radio show host, podcast host, they're kind of picky about who they get on the show. Can you blame them? If you built this up to where you were making eighty, hundred thousand dollars a year, would you let someone come in that could destroy that? Absolutely not. And the thing I want to share with you as we go forward is that being a radio show host or a podcast, you've always got to provide good quality value. You've got to keep the audience in tune with what you're saying. They've got to be able to follow you. You want to encourage them to be able to subscribe and share. That is necessary. Ask them. If you don't ask them, they may not even do that. Now, let me see if I can move this down here a little bit more. You can get interviews here, experts, authors, and PR firms. Get free interview leads by email. Would that be a value to you if you're an author? If you're an expert in something? Sharing your information, there is a huge demand for that. Whether you're online business or if you have a, um, or if you want to be a speaker, we train speakers, or no matter what it is that you're calling, people are looking for experts. They're looking for subject matter experts to be able to fulfill their lives. And by the way, I forgot to ask about this. If you have a question, please let me know because I've got Dandy Don. He's in the other studio. Um, he's maintaining the, the chat box there. If you have a question you'd like to ask me, please do, because this is a live broadcast, and I'll be more than happy to ask, answer your question. He'll let me know. So, But here again, you can sign up for a free guest request for emails. There's a lot of information in here. This will enable you to be able to uh, get your message out to others. It's a very inexpensive way if you play your cards right. I mean, it doesn't cost you to be a guest. But you can reach a lot of people out there. And then once you become a known entity as being a valuable guest on a radio show or a podcast, 
you will have people wanting to get in touch with you. And this gives you an opportunity when the host asked you, Hey, if someone would like to know more about you, how can he get in touch with you? That's when you can always share your website, your information, and everybody likes a free gift. So Jim, we, we, have a, we have a question. Okay, sir. Read it to me. So what do you look for in a guest? When you're, when you're looking for someone to be on your show, what are the top three things you're, you're looking for? And what might be some of the red flags that you're looking for that, that, to, to not have? Okay, thank you. The top three things I'm looking for. Number one, the person's got to have some business experience. They got to be an online business or they got to be, um, you know, have a, a, be a speaker or something like that. They got to be, have an online business of some way, either an author, coach, whatever. Uh, and also too, they've got to have some type of a track record. I'm looking for, you know, reviews on them, especially if I don't know them or if I don't know them that well, I'm looking for reviews on them. I'm also looking at the content of what they send me. Because if they got misspelled words in there, that's a no-go. If they're very lackadaisical or very loosey-goosey, that's a no-go. Because those things really will make a host worry. And they were kind of like, I don't know about that person. How many times have you ever received an email and someone's trying to talk to you on your level and they're misspelling words or, you know, using third grade English and things of this nature, you're automatically what, especially if it's a sales pitch, you're turned off. So that's very, very critical. You want to make sure that you're congruent with your Facebook personal page, who you are professionally. I can't stress that enough because that is so critical back and forth because people are looking for that. Not only the audience, not only the radio show host, not only the podcast host, but also the people who can put money into your pocket. Did that, did that answer the question there, Don? Yeah, I think that was, that was great. Another, another question, you know, if I'm, if I'm on a show, you know, what should I do after the show is over? You know, what, how, how do I get the most out of that? Okay. After the show is over, of course, during the show, you want to be able to provide as much information in a flowing, um, flowing manner that you can. You don't want to confuse the audience. Uh, just like uh, last night, we met with a gentleman, uh, Kevin, that's going to be on our show tomorrow on Toganet at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're going to be on the Internet. And he says uh, he's got four topics. He wants to do them into four different sections. And I said, that's perfect because it's a continuous flow. After the show, you can ask the host, you know, or even before the show begins, you can ask the host, hey, how do I get a copy of the podcast? And also before the show, you want to be able to get as much information from the, from the host on you being a guest on the show, because you can also promote it, which will also be a blessing to the host. It'll be a blessing to you and be sure and provide a complimentary gift, thanking the host for his audience to have and where they can go get it. Your website. You see the blessing in that? Next question. Any questions on? No, I think that that question, I got a question of my own. It just sure. kind of occurred to me that if I'm on the, a radio program, is it appropriate to maybe ask the host for some sort of a testimonial or, or something? Is that something that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good question, Don. Uh, in fact, uh, as many, sh uh, I've been on several shows and I never even thought of that as much as and here. I was on a radio show that we had 2 million downloads a month, you know, you know, <laughs> which, which goes to show you you're never too old to learn, but yes, you know, having a, a host give you a testimony. Just think about the value in that when you want to be on someone else's show, especially if you're trying to sell your book because as an author, you got to tell people about your book. 
if you're a business person, you got to tell people about your business. I mean, it's just talking and speaking is, um, there's two different things about talking and speaking. Let me clear that up there. Um, talking is just sitting there and just talking away and talking away. A lot of people can talk, but a speaker, a speaker does two things. A speaker identifies a problem. A speaker identifies the solution. And the speaker also, number three, I should add that one, has a call to action motivate people. And that's what you want to do on the, on this show. You want to be able to identify why you're there, what the solution is. And if they love the, you know, know more about you, send them to your website and give them that free gift because it's a win-win situation. But yes, do ask the host for a testimony. That's a great question, Don. Anything else? Yeah. So someone asked the question, is it, is it customary or possible for me to get the, an MP3 of the recording of the show or, or is, do I just send people to the, to wherever it's hosted? Okay. That's going to depend on uh, the, the setup. Like in our setup here, since we're live radio, we actually can send, you know, people the download of the podcast. You can download it right to a computer. Uh, you could, you know, also too, if they're on iTunes, they can play it there. You know, they can download it. But yes, the host will be able to tell you exactly where you can get the podcast, the podcast or the recording of your show, because that's something you want to use on your Facebook. That is something very, very valuable. I want to go um, here to our host. As you can see, there's a lot of hosts here. And notice their titles there on Tugganet. Uh, these folks here, every show that they put on falls within their theme. And you see, I think there's about 44 hosts here on Toganet. This gentleman here is taking, I, I get a kick out of him. He's taking a, a sabbatical right now uh, for family reasons, but he is True Life Academy. Everything about him is True Life Academy. Um, I'm about to pass up this lady back up here. She's a military mom. She has motherhood talk radio. Everything that she does is about military moms and military talk radio. So this is a good example here. This is her partner here, Robin Boyd, military Tom, uh, mom talk radio. This lady here has a show million, million dollar mindset. So you can easily see with these themes, the title of their show. Um, this is what it's about. If you're going to be a host or, or, or guest on one of these shows, you need to make sure that you fit that theme perfectly. Let me go further down here. Um, this is an example here of Wake Up the People. This comes out of Tyler Ch uh, Ch Chamber Radio. Let me just so humbly say that if you look at the TEDx videos, anything that's political or radical, it's not watched very much. The ones that are humorous, that mix humor in, people love them. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can see other show his show here, host here, and let me go further down here. Impact Talk Radio, author your guide to book publishing. Obviously, see, there's a lot of hosts here, and you want to be able to research not only Toganet, but also the radio guest list that I showed you. Search for the themes where you can be a blessing. You take, for example, like uh, Sandra Beck's a friend of mine. I know Sandra Beck. We're working with her but I would not be really a good candidate for her show at, for military moms. <laughs> you know, so you want to make sure you fit the theme. I want to go down here and show you a few more here. Outside the box. I haven't listened to this lady's show, but you know, that gives you an idea. Now take this one here, Lisa Lewis, the Lisa Lewis show. That doesn't really give you too much information about what you're going to expect. Like Jackie Lopez, she talks about the Radio Latina Network. She's going to talk about things you know, with uh, that pertains to Latina, uh, to the Latinas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fireside Talk Radio. <clears throat> Here again, this can be as wise as it is long. You don't really know what that is, and hopefully, when your your future is now that Don and I host, we encourage people to change their life. And that's what our show is all about. That's why that, you know, whether they're military, whether they're civilian, 
regardless of what their calling is, we want to inspire people to be able to have the courage to change their life because their future is right now. In fact, one of the very first courses I, I taught in the, Your Future Is Now is, of course, embracing change. You've got to do that. And if I may take a little time here, I'd like to go to speakerspathway.com. Nope, if I could spell it right. Let's get into talking about, you know, people sending you stuff with misspelled words. Did I misspell that right or what? Oh, I'm on the wrong link here. Okay, I'm sorry. But uh, anyway, I want to get back to this song. So you can advertise with these people here. You can get media training. At speakerspathway.com, we provide a whole bunch of the full gamut of training. If a person's an internet marketer and they want to know how to talk to people, want to talk to them, we can do that. And see, if a person becomes a subject matter expert in that, think about how value that would be as a guest on a radio show or a podcast where they appeal to the home-based business network marketing. If you found a special niche where you could teach others how to be able to find people on the internet to want to talk to them rather than going out and trying to recruit people. You think that would be a value? How about if you, um, in your, in the health industry, health is a real big thing. If you were able to bless someone with information on health, you see the value that would provide not only for the host, but also for the audience. That's what you want to aim at. What is your special calling? What is your, special sauce as we like to say in the industry and you can get free radio interviews here featured guest expert here but again let me humbly say because we're just about out of time just make sure that everything about your persona everything about your facebook page if you got to go in and clean it up do it do some housekeeping okay but just make sure that you are congruent on your message, who you are, the way you live your life, because that will make you very, very attractive to be a guest on a radio show or a guest on a podcast. And also too, if you want to be your own host, create your own radio show or your own podcast, get in touch with me and me or Don at speakerspathway.com. And I put in the, the wrong thing up there earlier, so I'm not going to fool with it here on the live web broadcast here. But speakerspathway.com, we've got the knowledge and expertise. We can help you overcome the fear of public speaking. And we can give you great information to help you go and grow your business. Because that's one of the things that we do. We pay it forward. We'll be glad to work with you and help you any way we can. If you have any questions that come to mind, if you watch this after the live broadcast is over, and you go like, wow, you know, I, I wish I could ask this question. Just go to speakerspathway.com. That's S-P-E-A-K-E-R-S-P-A-T-H-W-A-Y.com. And just click on, you know, contact us and ask Jim or Don. Either one makes no difference. Um, we'll be glad to respond to your question and answer your question and give you the best advice that we know after many, many years of doing this. We've got a lot of skin in the game on this deal. And again, just make sure that you do not get on a soapbox and you become a guest on someone else's show. That is one and done. It's a very small industry. If you get blackballed, <laughs> Uh, it might be better to change your name and get a different <laughs> Facebook. I'm being a little facetious, but I mean, once you get blackballed, that's a hard thing to overcome. So it's 100% avoidable and don't go there. One final thing, since we're working with Network Together out of Phoenix, Arizona, with Robert and Sean Jones, uh, we're working with them, uh, Don and I. We're going to have some of their members as a guest on our show. And if you're with Network to Mark, uh, Network Together or iNetwork Expo out in Phoenix, Arizona or in Utah or in Tucson because they're going and growing, please get in touch with them 
because we, uh, they, they, they prefer and we prefer that everything comes through them to us to be a guest on a radio show because that will automatically help us and will automatically help you as you go and grow as we expand into other areas to be a guest on other shows. Makes sense. Got another another question. Okay, sir. So what 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 does one need to get on one of these shows? I mean, do do what do you need? I mean, what are you going to look for? You're going to look for a web page. You're going to look for a Facebook page. What what are you what are you going to look at to see if someone's legit besides them just calling you and saying they want to be on your show? All of the above. You need to have a good clean website. You need to have a good clean Facebook page. And it wouldn't hurt if you had a speaker's page, an outline of what, you know, who you are and how you acquired your knowledge and all that. And uh, if you need help on a speaker's page, let us know at speakerspathway.com. But yes, the more information that, because when you contact a show host, first thing I'm going to do is start looking on the internet. They'll look at your LinkedIn page, your Facebook page, all this stuff to get more confidence that you are a person that can be a blessing to their audience. That's the common denominator. Let me say that again, because so many people miss that. If you're a speaker on stage or whether you're a radio show host or whatever it might be, the bottom line is whoever comes in to that arena, they must make the event coordinator, the radio show host, the podcast host, they must make that person look good in front of their audience. And if you do that, you'll, you will be back again and again, and you'll be on other shows, especially with testimonies that Don very well pointed out. Very important question there. But also, too, also, too, you're going to be able to provide a lot of value, a lot of blessing, and you're going to be able to touch a lot of people's lives. You can send them to your website again, and offer them a free gift at your website, a free complimentary gift. Therefore, that's where you're going to build rapport. You can build your email list. You, it just goes and grows and goes. It just keeps multiplying. If you need help on that, please let us know at speakerspathway.com. That's our specialty. That's our special sauce. Any other comment or question or did you see there, Don? Nope. It's all, all quiet for now. Okay, well, I think I've covered about everything that uh, really needs to be covered in here. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us. Let us know at speakerspathway.com, and we'll be glad to answer your question. We'll be glad to give you some free advice on how to fine-tune your persona to make you attractive to radio show host, podcast host, that's our complimentary gift from us to you today. So just go to speakerspathway.com. Say, hey, would you at least look what I'm presenting to see if it would help me out some, help me tighten it up, help me to expand this or, you know, whatever. In other words, we'll do a dress rehearsal with you for free. That's our complimentary gift from us to you for, for tuning in. Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant. I'm the host of co-founder of Speakers Pathway Coalition. I'm also the host of Your Future Is Now. I wear many hats, as you can see. <laughs> and Dandy Don McGrath, he's also the host up with me on the show. He's also the co-founder of the Speakers Pathway Coalition. And if we can help you, please go to speakerspathway.com. We'll be glad to answer your questions, help you take a look at what you want to present, and give you some personalized expert help. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.